Yo, what's going on? It's Ajax here, and today I'm back with another tutorial. I'll be teaching you how to get Valorant in any of these reses, whether it's like 4 3 stretched or like 1600 by 900 or whatever, whatever you want. Okay, let's start with why you're gonna want the stretch res here. Uh, like a lot of pros did it back in Counter Strike just because it like made the, the player models bigger and it was easier to shoot them but in Valorant that's not the case switching to a like a stretch res or any res it doesn't make the the players bigger any bigger than they already are so the only real reason to do this for Valorant is turning down the res will get you better FPS but for me personally uh, like I don't have a problem with FPS at all but I do like to still play on a stretch res just because it, it just feels a lot smoother to me Alright, so the first step to do this is to go to your desktop, right click anywhere, and you're going to go to a control panel. Just give it a sec to open. Okay, once that opens up, the first thing you want to do is go to manage 3D settings here, and you're going to want to make sure your ESR factors, make sure this is turned off. Okay, so once you're done with that you're gonna want to go down to adjust desktop size and position. Make sure you're on the scaling tab here. You want to turn the scaling mode full screen. You want to make sure this is clicked. Override the scaling mode set by the games and program. And then just make sure this is on the the highest you can go. I have 144 hertz monitor, so that's okay. And once you have all that set, click apply screen might flicker black pops up with keep the changes click yes keep the changes okay so once you're done with that you're gonna you're gonna click on the size size tab here and you need to make sure enable desktop resizing is clicked so if that's not clicked turn that on hit apply again okay so once you're done with that you're gonna head over to change resolution here you're gonna want to make sure you're on the monitor that you're that you play on here, and now you're just gonna search your PC for like the res that it already has preset, and the most common ones are like 1440 by 900 or 1600 by 900. But if you're not seeing one that you want, like or you want to do a custom one, just go to uh, customize. You have to you have to enable this. You're gonna go create custom, and then you just type in whatever res you want here. Uh, make sure this is at the highest it can go. So for me, 144 hertz monitor. So 144. Then test. It'll pop up here. It'll also be right here. So if you have a custom one, do that and then go apply, or whichever one you have. You're just, you're just gonna wanna apply it here. So for me, I'm gonna go to 1440 by 900. So I'm just gonna click it, click apply. Yes, we're gonna keep these changes. Okay, so now you can see all my, all my desktop icons moved over here because my main monitor is on 1440 by 900 now. You can't see it because I'm recording on my second monitor. I my main monitor does look very weird stretched out and stuff and then once once you're done with that you can just close out of this and head back into Valorant what you're going to want to do once you're back in Valorant is go to video general resolution and you're just going to want to click on the res that you did earlier if it's a custom one be at the very bottom it'll say custom so then just select whatever one you did. I did 1440 by 900, so I'm just gonna click that. Click apply. Confirm. So now, now I'm in 1440 by 900, that's my res. Okay, so then once you apply that res in game, you're gonna do it, alt tab out. So we're back on our desktop here after alt tabbing out. I'm gonna open back up the control panel that sec you're just gonna switch it back to the native res of your monitor. For most people that's gonna be 1920 by 10 click 
simplify with these changes you can close out of that and uh, once you close that and you get back in Valorant you're done you're on your res that you wanted so now you can see my crosshair looks different because it stretched it out so it's bigger now might have to adjust that your sensitivity might be a little weird but it shouldn't be that weird I just have to turn it down a little bit turn it up a little bit whatever just play with it not that big a deal and then here's a bonus tip for you guys if you're if you have a stretch res and you use OBS once you do it it might look weird like this It'd be full screen and since it's not the native res it might be too big to it so all you gotta do to capture here right click go to transform fit to screen yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll answer it. Or if you have any other questions, you can send me a DM on Twitter. That's in that in the bottom left corner there. Or down there. So go give that a follow and DM me. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, turn on post notifications. Thanks for watching. Peace.